This is how we ride. This is how we do. You know, it's it's kind of funny. Like I try to bring a level of understanding, maybe a little more insight into what's important, what isn't important in life. You know, some halfway teachings along the way about views and thought processes and things like that, and perspectives and reality and perceptions. And some people just can't get. You know, I made this damn video yesterday with Macedo talking about Marx. An XR scenario, with which is a scenario where I, you know, I addressed and pinned a comment saying my opinion of the of the uh, broadcast they did isn't a personal attack, isn't anything like that. It's just, you know, this wasn't some just random regional race. This, this wasn't MLRA. This is this hundred thousand dollar late model deal is a big damn deal. And I understand that these are the type of races that the world needs to see. And when the world tunes in to hopefully see this shit. It has to be Eldora Million Flow. It has to be Knoxville Nationals Dirt Vision. It has to be Spring Thaw 100 XR level. And that level was not there. And that made me upset because I care about the sport. You know, and some people think I just made this up out of nowhere. Like this conversation. This isn't a beginning conversation. Like I had this conversation with multiple people in and out of the sport in the background. And sometimes maybe in their background. There's people out there with an opinion like this and something that's very important and could potentially be detrimental to the sport that aren't saying nothing. They're just scared. Now, some people are out there in the media spectrum, especially saying they're scared because they need to eat and they don't want to threaten their opportunity to allow that to happen. Well, aren't you afraid of these little Caesars? Double meaning there. You may need one of these Caesars out here to feed you one day. So you shut your mouth and you hinder the ability of the one thing God gave you. And that's a mind to think and a fucking mouth to speak what you feel and think as well. Oh, but it's the money. It's the monetary. It's the dollar. It's the whip that you people are afraid of. Except now they got you scared to not get whipped. And now you'll do anything you need to do for this uh, systematic issue at hand. Now, obviously, I said Little Caesars, not Big Caesars, because you sure as hell ain't no Big Caesar, any of you, that I'm talking about. Anyone in your higher class that you so proclaim, just because you're above the working man don't mean you're not below somebody else. But you have things you speak and feel about the classes above you, the political classes, this, that, and the other classes, and and, and you're too scared. There's a there's somebody that feeds your plate, and you may not want to lose th- lose their food that they're going to give you. Oh, so you're scared of your... Massa? And then they look above them with the problems that they got with the people above the Little Caesar. And they look down at the working class and justify it because you're doing the same things to those people as those people are doing to you. And then us as the working class, we're technically the issue because we're not giving a great example. And these people are able to be Little Caesars in their little domains with their little power, little control. And it all comes down to keeping your mouth shut. Your mouth is the most powerful thing in the world. In the world. But the problem with that is the willingness to trade in your status. And nobody likes to be treated equal. They like to be treated better than someone else. You feel satisfied in life. And you are fine with living in the masses house. Because you're on the top floor where everybody else is on the bottom. They got you so damn distracted with your TVs, entertainment, icons, idolizations. This mouth, that lipstick, that car, that truck, that house, that money, that gold, that um, that oh. That magic that y'all don't really care to wake up. Y'all are a big, giant, sleeping beauty who are saying exactly what I'm saying in these videos but are afraid. I'm just here to hopefully open your eyes to, to some of this. They call it being woke, but woke can be scared. I would say being aware is a better scenario because we all still have to survive here, right? Especially when the ones who are aware are not in numbers. Everybody else is still caught up in the, in the dream, the American dream. Although they kind of dissected in George Carlin the damn American dream idea, and, and pretty much everybody believes in, in that as being a mirage more than reality. So why haven't they figured out why the mirage lasted so long? But there are people who just see the check engine light on the dashboard, and then there's others who try to actually fix the engine. Some people want to learn how to fix the engine, but most of them are just lazy. Similar to sheep. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I know this is a racing spurred discussion, but this is a way bigger issue than racing. And some of these actual world problems might be a little bit more important than racing. At least they are to me. 
And that's the end of the story. You can leave your opinion below in the comments section. You can like the video. You can share it if you potentially agree. And you could also subscribe if you want to see more of this type of talking and, and, and majority of the time racing. But I'm sorry. You're not watching a sheep. I'm not reading a script. If you want to watch those types of people, there are other dirt track channels who offer sheep-based content. They put their stuff out daily. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we'll catch you next time. This is how we ride. This is how we ride.